Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and welcome back to Humble Beginnings on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. This is episode two. That'll do. Now let's go see about some cows. This is that modular trailer they were talking about, they sold me. Evidently we can change it into something else later if we need to. What are we hitting? Well that's not good. wondered what it was. That looks like a tree planter right there. Not too close. I have to be able to open it up. Perfect. Alright, let's buy some cows. We'll see what they've got. Be right back with you. No cattle yet. Looking at purchasing some sailors. But they're just over 2000 a piece right now, and we don't have enough money to get them. So, just hanging out here. This is the timber line they're talking about having me remove, so they can make a road. Oh, I can just barely see the trailer. So these trees are the ones we need to take out. From this corner, you can see it comes around and down the valley. There we go. We've been paid for the wood. Time to go get our cattle. That's a nice old tractor. All loaded up, ready to go. Time for you guys to meet your new home. Starting to warm up, getting close to 50 degrees, not as cold as it was earlier when we came up here. 
but the ground is still frozen. We'll be able to work it for a little while. At 17 miles an hour, this is kind of a long drive, but it is a beautiful drive. I love all the trees. I'm going to have to go over there and check out the rocks one of these days. At this pace, it's been a 12-minute journey so far. But it's slow-paced life out here. I don't mind. Okay, boys, here's your new home. Mm, cut that kind of close. I'm hoping a big swing here and we can just turn around and open the gate. Just like that. They sound happy. Okay, let's go spend the rest of our money and see how many more we can get. Oh, there's a little bit of a bump there. Okay, only enough money to get four more. So we have ten total. Let's go, boys. Let's go to the farm. Okay, everybody, we've got new friends. I'm going to have to make sure I leave enough room to open the gate up. There we go. Ten cattle in our little pasture, ready to grow. Now, where to put this? We can back it up.
No, it'll be in the way of the field. How about... How about right here? Oh my god, the gates are open. Ooh, we got some eggs already. Oh, uh, they're gonna need more feed. I think there might be a little in the silos. But we need to go get our wagon. It's still up where we dropped off the logs. Did I forget? No, the gate shut. Good. Thought I forgot to shut the gate. I need to stop using the old lady for hauling this wagon. Yes. We have some wheat. Good. Ah, they didn't take it all. I'm surprised. Well, we got just a little bit left before we have to go buy some. We'll put the rest of this back into the silo. I don't have a comment for that. Better close this lid. Okay, ladies, be happy. Make lots of eggs. Please. Okay, the chickens are all good to go. Let's see if the cows need a little bit more. Ooh. They need more water. Definitely. But first, I need to do something private. Oh my god. That was nasty. 
I'm going to have to do some cleaning in there. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to do. No. There we go. That must have been that modular part of this trailer. Okay. I'm sure glad nobody saw that. We'll drop that there, and let's see. The magic trailer will come down. Where did I leave my water dolly? By the tank? No. Oh, I put it under this shelter here. Here you go, boys. Have some more water. My goodness, you're thirsty. But it looks full, so we'll call that good. I was going to park this in there, but... I don't think so. I'm getting thirsty. I think I'm going to have a little iced tea. I'll be back with you in just a second. Well, who could that be? Oh, somebody from the Forest Service. I was just going to have some iced tea. Would you like to come in and join me? So yeah, that was the forestry service. And it's official. They want me to do some tree planting, tree cutting. Rules are I can use their equipment. I'm not allowed to use forestry equipment for personal use. When I'm doing forestry service work, I have to leave my personal vehicle at the dealership up there. And when I'm done doing forestry work, I leave the equipment at the dealership. They can't pay me in cash, but they will pay me one harvestable tree. So one of those big guys for every ten trees that I plant. Which... I thought was a good deal. They're pretty tall. I think I can get some good lumber out of that. I thought maybe we would go up there. Let's see. I don't want to take the tractor. We'll 
Take the old lady. I think I need to buy a power washer while I'm up there. They won't be closed yet, so we'll go do that. I'll be back in a little bit, boys. Oh, I love it out here. Wow, there's some more rocks. One of these days, we may have to just go for a drive. See what all's out here. There's a... A lot of area over there. I guess we could go for a drive in the forestry vehicle. I could tell them I'm scouting to see what needs to be done. I think that might work. Alright. Oh, it's so much quicker to get here with the vehicle that drives more than 17 miles an hour. Let's see, where should I park my truck so it's out of the way? You know, I saw that trailer there the other day. Earlier today. I did. So that must be the tree planter I'm supposed to use. Well, I'm going to go in here and talk to Paul, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, Paul said that this is the Forestry Service vehicle. They get to use it to move stuff around the yard for free, which is kind of cool. And while we're here, I'm going to buy the power washer. They said it was back here in this back room. Okay, I forgot we didn't have any money for the power washer. Let's take this tractor out and hook it up to the trailer. We should go take a look, while it's still daylight, at where we might plant some trees. Um, yeah, this is kind of silly. The ground's still frozen. We're going to have to wait until the ground isn't frozen anymore, and then we can go look and see where to plant some trees. So we can put this back over with the tree trailer. have it outside so we can use it if we want it. Let's start cutting trees down for this little road that needs to go in. Let's see. That one can stay. It's off the path. Um, that one might stay. This one's got to go. Uh, 
Uh, I think those two might be able to stay. That one's got to go. I'm going to carry on working on trees here, and we'll time-lapse it just a bit. Well, that's the start of a road. Come down here. That bush is okay, maybe. Uh, that tree's probably alright. Although the limbs might be encroaching. Well, we'll leave that one for now. We'll have them come take a look. Let's take out this one. Yep, that one's got to go. Definitely that one, that one. Going to have to come up over here a little ways. Miss a limb. There we go. Let's knock this one the other way. Starting to get dark. Well, we made a start. We'll drop one more. There we go. I'll bet this tree's got to go. But yeah, that's that's getting there. All right. 
Well, I will see you back at the house in just a second. We need to top the water off for the cattle. And they might need a little more hay or silage, I guess, since I'm out of hay. I only had the one. Okay, that's a little strange. There, that's better. I guess I'll have to not connect these two things together from now on. And it looks like the water is still full. And the hay is still good. Cattle are set for the evening. Time to call her quits for the day. It is too dark. I think I'm going to go back and make me up some supper. I don't know what I'm going to have yet to look in the kitchen, see what I've got. Definitely dark out here. Now, light switch, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Humble Beginnings. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. See you soon. Bye for now.